everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, I am very aware there's quite a few of you who've recently joined. Hello, hi, my name is Luke. I make YouTube videos and put them on the internet. Um, it's a mixture of food, lifestyle, fashion, travel, and everything in between, really, a bit of interiors, all that good stuff. But yes, hello, hi, um, hope you can stick around. I am very excited for today's video because it's been very highly requested, um, as you can tell by the title. It's going to be a five midweek batch cook breakfast ideas. We've got some vegan recipes in here, we've got some vegetarian recipes, absolutely delicious, super, super easy to like bash out on a Sunday afternoon, prep them for the week ahead. If you've got kids, you may be a university student, or who's got a busy lifestyle and you just grab a breakfast and head out the door and you ain't got time to be like faffing on, these are the recipes for you. I have just nipped to Aldi, I will insert the footage here. So I'm just in Aldi and I've got my shopping list of everything that I need. I feel like I can pretty much get all of this here. Apart from a couple of things I might have to nip to Tesco for, but I do need some bananas. So I'm gonna grab some then. Perfect. The one thing that annoys me about Aldi, I love it, but like you can't buy individual things, you've got to buy packs. I definitely need to look at somewhere maybe potentially better to get like my fruit and veg, but yeah, need some courgettes. This is a recent find that I've actually discovered. It's called Skier, and it's like protein-packed yogurt. It's not vegan, but um, it's absolutely delicious, and it's packed full of protein, so I'm gonna get one of these for the overnight oats. I'm gonna grab a bag of these Cavanons, I think Cavanons, um, or organic por porridge oats. Sorry if I can get my words out. These are the really nice jumbo oats, and they're so good. They're 149 for, I think, a kilo, so that lasts you so long. I'm gonna grab some eggs. This section of Aldi I absolutely love. They've just got so many different types of seeds and things going on. So I'm gonna grab some sunflower seeds for the overnight oats. I also need to grab some chia seeds. These are gonna go on the overnight oats and as well on top of the smoothies. And then I'm gonna get some dried fruits to go on top of the pancakes. And these look amazing, so I'm gonna grab some of these. They also have things like milled linseed, which is really, really good, and some flaxseed, I'm sure, as well. So yeah, it's really, really good. So one whole bag of this is £1.79, and if you're going to go on like a really expensive, like fancy food shop, these would be so much more expensive, and they're so good. I don't need any, but they're really good to have. Um, I think that's everything from this aisle. I'm not a massive food shop at all. I had quite a few people ask as well, um, like alternatives to honey. Um, I use agave nectar, but also maple syrup is a really nice alternative. Um, and it's not actually too expensive in Aldi. I'm not gonna use honey, but I do need to get some peanut butter. Uh, I need the smooth one. Crunchy, smooth? Oh, that'll do. Oh no, smooth. There we go, smooth peanut butter. So I just reconsidered my peanut butter choice. This one is actually 85p, but it's packed full of palm oil. That's actually really, really not good. So for an extra 40 pence, I'm gonna go for this one, which is the same smooth one, but it's got no palm oil at all. So I'm gonna grab this one because it's better. So this is everything I need from Aldi. I am gonna nip to Tesco real quick just to get some buttermilk and some dates, but yeah, not a big shop at all. So I am a massive fan of breakfast. I never skip it. I think it's something that I've always, always had. Um, my dad used to say, it's his life old saying that if you eat like a king for breakfast, a prince for lunch, and a pauper for dinner, which I know is kind of like, you know, not 2020 version, but essentially it's have a big old breakfast, have a, you know, a reasonable lunch and a moderate tea dinner, not something massive to be like really heavy to go to bed on. Um, so yeah, that's just something I've always had and always do. So I'm gonna go through everything I got in Aldi. I got two extra bits in Tesco, as you saw, and I'm gonna crack on with the recipes. I'm very excited. Got five recipes. I'm gonna be listing all the ingredients and the recipe links and some of my own creations down below as well. So if you do wanna follow them along at home, Everything will be linked down below. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't, it would mean the world. If you do, you can just click that little button down there that says subscribe, and if you tick the notification bell, YouTube sends you a little reminder whenever I upload a video so you never miss one. If you wanna follow me on Instagram as well, I have my account, which is Luke Catlow, and that's got everything going on about my daily ramblings, and I also have a food account, Luke Catlow Eats. If you wanna check that as well, I'll link them both on the screen at the minute, and also down below. Right, I think that's everything. Let's go crack with a little cheeky haul and some recipes. Okay, so this is everything that I got from Aldi. Not a massive amount, and I also got two items from Tesco. I'm gonna show you the receipts just to show how much everything cost. So my total in Aldi was 18.85, which I know does sound like a lot, but I did get quite a large amount of ingredients. As you can see, there's a lot going on there, and obviously this 
is going to be 18 pounds worth of breakfast that can be used surplus we've got a lot of dry ingredients going on in tesco i spent three pounds on the dot so there we are that is everything we're looking at around 20 pounds for a week's worth of breakfast and some for at least a family of four if not two or three very hungry people <laughs> right let me show you everything i got so um i picked up this massive bag of oats as i showed you this is cabernet cabernet's cabernet's cabernet cabernet I have absolutely no idea. Basically, it's a kilogram bag of jumbo oats, £1.70 odd, absolute dream, so, so good, packed full of slow raising energy, got protein in there, really, really tasty, don't need to say any more about that. This next thing, as I said, is a recent find, this is the Skier protein packed yoghurt, delicious, I love it, I haven't tried the strawberry flavour, but I'm sure it's really good, and it's fat free. As I showed you as well, I got the um, smooth peanut butter without the palm oil. I would honestly highly recommend paying that little bit extra, guys. Aldi, you know, £1.15, I think this was, instead of 85p. If you can afford it, do it, because it's just so much better for you. I got some cumin, because this is going to go in the breakfast muffins. I got three courgettes. I only really needed one, but they came in a pack of three, so I'm sure I can incorporate that in some kind of dinner. I also got some chia seeds, which are classic superfood chia seeds. I know a lot of people do rave on about that word, but these are delicious. Again, full of protein, um, got good omegas as well, high in fiber, really, really high in um, just all goodness, really. I just love chia seeds. I put them in basically everything. So yeah, I got some chia seeds. I got some sunflower seeds as well. These are really, really good for you. Just classic like energy release, just keep you full for longer, full of fiber, really tasty. I also got some berry mix as well, which is just really nice dried fruits. We've got some apricots in there, and some cherries, some blueberries, that kind of thing. Some pomegranate seeds. I really wanted to buy under whole pomegranate because I kind of hate buying things in plastic, but I didn't have any, so I had to buy the seeds. Never mind. I got six large free range eggs. Um, as I said, always go free range if you can, guys. It's just, it's just so much better. Um, yeah, six of those, guys. I'm going to pop those in the pancakes, and we're also going to pop them in the breakfast muffins. Um, moving over, we've got some feta going on, we've got some Greek feta, this is just, oh, it's so tasty, cheese like one of my favourite things, not exactly like the healthiest, but it's pretty good. Got some Canadian maple syrup, I just decided to get this in the end, it's delicious, it's tasty, it works, it's really good in smoothies, coffees, cereals, porridge, just everything, it's so good, I love maple syrup, and it's completely vegan as well, which is good, it's a good natural sweetener. I got some almond milk. This actually is from Lidl. I had to nip into the post office and you need to buy something from Lidl to warrant parking there. So I bought some almond milk because I knew I was running low. I got some apple and mango juice. This is going to go into the smoothie. I got a big old bunch of bananas. Uh, how many got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven bananas. And some grapes. And that's literally everything in Aldi. Nothing particularly exciting. But if you add all this together, you've got some magic going on. Okay, so I'm gonna get cracking. I'm gonna list all the ingredients down below. I'm gonna run through each recipe in like a nice little voiceover and you can just follow along at home or you can just watch and enjoy. But yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, so the first recipe we're gonna be making are my overnight oats. These are protein packed and absolutely delicious. So you need a handful of ingredients. I've got some chia seeds, some organic porridge oats, some almond milk, some of the Graham Skier strawberry protein yogurt, some pomegranate seeds, and some berry mix. Into a large bowl, I just use these cup measurements and I measure out one cup of oats per day. So I did two cups for two days, but you can do as many cups as you like. And I work on a ratio of one cup of oats to one cup of liquids, like milk, whatever you're using. So I use two cup of oats to two cups of milk. And then I also added a quarter cup of the Graham strawberry skier yogurt just to make it a little bit more creamy. It just really adds like another textural element to it. You don't have to do this, but it works. Then I added around, I'd say a quarter cup of chia seeds as well. And then I stirred those all together. And then I popped it into an airtight container Tupperware and this needs to go in the fridge ideally overnight but for a minimum of 8 hours. So I always prep this the night before and then it's ready the next morning. And then literally to top it all I do is spoon the oats into the bowl depending on how much I would like. And then I top it with a bit of the um, protein yogurt, some pomegranate seeds and then I use some dried fruit and also some sesame seeds or some sunflower seeds depending on what you're after. And it is honestly such a fill and breakfast guys, so easy, literally takes like two minutes to make. 
The next recipe I'm gonna show you guys is my protein packed super green smoothie. It is so delicious, helps fight your immune system, just keep everything good. So for the ingredients, you're gonna need some chia seeds, some apple and mango juice, or any form of juice that you wanna use. You can use um, some alternative milks if you prefer, a good handful of spinach, and I've washed this, some frozen mango chunks, one whole banana, and I'd say around 10 to 15 grapes, like a handful of grapes, some protein powder, and a lime. So into a blender, I've added all of my spinach. This is a lot of spinach, guys, I love spinach. I added the banana as well. I start with the spinach just because I feel like it blends up better. And then I added the juice of a full lime. The lime just gives it this amazing freshness, plus it's really good for your skin. I use my little nifty juicer, which I love. Then I added the mango chunks. Again, you can use whatever frozen fruit you like. I just love the taste of mango. I think it really helps with the color. And then I added some chia seeds, my vegan protein blend. This is actually from my protein. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check that out. And then I just checked that it was actually going to fit. And then I used the apple and mango juice just to help it blend all together. Like I said, this is fully customizable, but this is the recipe that I use. And it just makes the most insanely delicious, smooth, really vibrant green smoothie. And it's absolutely delicious. And touch wood, I haven't actually got ill this year. And I really think this has actually helped massively. The next recipe are my vegan, amazingly simple five ingredient granola bars. So you're gonna need literally five ingredients, guys. You need some smooth peanut butter. You can, of course, use almond butter if you'd like. Some almonds, some medjool dates, some organic porridge oats, and some maple syrup. So to make the granola bars, you need to get yourself a bacon tray and add around one cup of the organic oats into the bacon tray, and then just clunk up a cup of almonds. You don't have to like finely chop them at all, just and you can keep some holes as well if you like. Just I like to just cut them up, literally just run a knife through it and then pop those on the bacon tray as well. And you need to pop those into around 180 degree oven for 10 minutes. Just this gives it a lovely roasted taste. You don't need to do this at all. I just really enjoy the flavor. Then I added around one cup of pitted medjool dates. Medjool dates are just ridiculously good. They're super, super chewy, so naturally sweet, and I just absolutely love them. So yeah, I added around one cup in the end. And then you just pop those into a food processor and blend them up. Now don't worry, they're not gonna make a paste. It's gonna like clump into a big bowl. It looks like a dung bowl, <laughs> but um, don't worry. And then into a saucepan, you wanna add a quarter cup of maple syrup and then around a quarter cup of the smooth peanut butter and just warm that through so it kind of goes nice and smooth and combines. So this is gonna act as like the binding agent with all of your dry stuff. And then you want to add in your medjool date paste and just give that a good stir and it should loosen up. And then once your oats and almonds have roasted, just pop those in the pan too. It's literally like a one pan wonder, it's such a dream. Then just stir all of that together, making sure all of the oats and almonds are combined. It might be a little bit sticky, but don't worry, that's good. And then you want to pop it in a nine by nine square cake tin lined with some greaseproof paper. I definitely would recommend using the greaseproof paper or bacon parchment just because it helps it come out once it's set. And then I just use the back of a metal spoon just to smooth it out. You can use the bottom of a glass. And then this just needs to go into the fridge for around two or three hours or the freezer if you want to speed things up um, for around an hour or so. And then you can just cut it up into however many size chunks you like. I like good chunky granola bars. So um, yeah, I went for quite a substantial bit. But this made, I think something like nine or 12 pieces in total and you can pop them into a Tupperware, reuse the grease proof. And then um, yeah, they keep for ages. They're completely vegan, really, really good as like a snack, full of protein, full of natural fats, and just really, really good. The next recipe I'm gonna show you guys are my fluffy American protein pancakes. These are so tasty, so delicious, and so easy to make. So you need two eggs, some bacon powder, some cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and some vegan protein powder, or alternatively, you can just use regular protein powder. So into a stainless steel bowl, I'm adding two egg whites, making sure that I keep the yolk separate. And I'm using an electronic whisk for this, guys, just because I feel like it's quicker, but by all means, use a hand whisk. You just want really nice, fluffy, medium to stiff peaks. Takes around a minute. Then in a separate bowl, add your two egg yolks, a pinch of cinnamon, and one ripe banana. This wasn't particularly ripe, so it's quite hard to mash up. And then one teaspoon of bacon powder, 
and you want to add in around a scoop of protein powder. I'll leave all the measurements down below you guys so you don't have to worry about that and just mash all of that together to form like a paste. I add a little bit of the egg white just to try and loosen it up and that did help massively. And then it was time to add the banana and egg mixture into the egg whites and just stir all that together. I also did add a splash of almond milk just to help with the consistency. Into a medium sized frying pan on like a medium heat, I then just scooped the protein pancake mix into the pan and I kind of like smoothed the top side just to make sure they're nice and soft. And then I gave them about three minutes on either side and just flipped them until they were golden brown and that is literally it. You don't have to eat these straight away. You can of course cook them, pop them into a Tupperware and then reheat them midweek if you prefer or you can have them straight away. I just serve them with a glug of maple syrup and some blueberries and it's as simple as that. So tasty. As you can see, I'm really enjoying them here. <laughs> And then my final recipe are my beautiful feta and courgette breakfast muffins. Again, handful of ingredients, so easy to make. So I've got some self-raising flour, one courgette, some buttermilk, some cumin, some bicarb of soda, bacon powder, some Greek feta, and some sunflower oil. So this makes around six large muffins in total. So I've just got a muffin tray here and I'm just putting some muffin cases or cake liners, depending on what you call them. And then into a bowl of self-raising flour, I'm adding the bicarb and the bacon powder, and then a good sprinkling of cumin around one teaspoon. And then into a measuring jug, I just cracked in one free range egg and I added five tablespoons of oil. Again, all the measurements will be down below. Then I also added the buttermilk and just gave that a good stir just to make sure it was all combined. Then I added the wet mixture into the dry mixture, just gave that a good stir. And then I crumbled in some of the feta cheese. I absolutely love feta, I just think it gives an amazing flavor. Of course, you can substitute this with whatever cheese you'd like. If you want to make some mozzarella, this is a good base recipe. You can literally experiment with flavors as much as you possibly like, but I just love the combination of cumin, feta, and courgette. And then I just grated one whole courgette. I gave it a bit of a wash, squeezed off all of the excess water just to make it, the muffins nice and fluffy, added that into the mix and stirred all that together. Added a grind of black pepper and then literally just popped it into the muffin cases. These baked for around 20 minutes at 180 degrees and they came out looking beautiful. And that is it. That's the muffins. Easy as that. And these last for around three to four days in an airtight container. And that is it guys. That took me about, I'd say about three hours in total, which I know does sound like a lot of time, but if you think about that in terms of how much time it's going to save you in mornings, you're going to be able to grab breakfast and dash out the door. I absolutely love it. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful, as always, do give it a thumbs up. And if you could hit that subscribe button, it would mean the absolute world. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more recipe videos, do leave some suggestions in the comments down below. I've got plenty more food content and all that good stuff coming very soon. So I'll catch you guys in another video coming very, very soon. Bye for now.